All right, everybody, back with a few things from some YouTube guys. Some of it's from a while ago. First, here's a Jeff Airtime trivia win from a few weeks ago. I got a question right. He sent me that Wayne Gallman Prism Auto and this Kyle Lauletta rookie, former Giants draft pick. So, yeah, I got a wrestling question right this time. It was who was the third member of Demolition, the old WWF tag team. So they started out with Axe and Smash, then... At one point, they added a member by the name of Crush, so I got that right and got these two cards. So yeah, Jeff offers a wide variety of questions. Sometimes the toughest part is just typing in the answer fast enough. And then the other card up there was a purchase from Watch the Corners. It's a Miguel Andujar National Treasures Auto. He did a sale like, I don't know, I think it was like two months ago, maybe longer than that. But he had that up for like eight bucks or ten bucks, something like that. And... At that point, I still didn't have a Andujar Auto in the Yankee collection, so picked that up. And he also threw in this Saquon Barkley Crusade. So very cool. Always nice to add any Saquon stuff. So thanks to Shane at Watch the Corners. Very underrated channel. Again, one of those channels that, for some reason, just kind of goes under the radar here in this community. But it's him and Miss Watch the Corners. They have a lot of fun over on their channel, so check them out. And thanks again to Jeff Airtime. Next is something that I won in a little giveaway that Dustin and Blake were doing. They were giving away this custom card with a piece of authentic Blake game used jersey. Yeah, real game used material, not that fake stuff that we get in most of our packs nowadays. And then check out the back. Just as awesome on the back. I love these YouTuber custom cards, so I was really happy when they said that I won that. And they also threw in a bunch of stuff for my Puerto Rican PC. Looks like a bunch of their twins doubles there. So yeah, the twins, for some reason, they usually have some Puerto Rican players in their organization, like dating all the way back to like the 90s. A few years ago, they had one that I thought was going to be really good. A guy by the name of Kenny Vargas. Big switch hitter with power. I'm sure Dustin knows who I'm talking about. Thought he was going to be a star, but fell out of the majors pretty quick. But yeah, Eddie Rosario and Barrios have gotten off to nice starts to their careers few prism rosario there so yeah i'm pretty sure i don't have most of these because as i say all the time i hardly buy any of these modern packs and then got a lindor paquito variation so thanks to dustin and blake for the giveaway again i love the youtuber customs so you know this went to somebody who's gonna really appreciate it and forgot to mention those are two of the previous customs that dustin and blake sent me this one to this day is one of my favorite youtuber customs ever with a piece of authentic wrapper opened by Blake. Lastly, I got some stuff from Wesker Griff. But before I get to that, check it out, Ed. I still have it. Still sealed. Just wanted to show that because I know Ed is one of the few people that would appreciate that. But yeah, I still haven't cracked it open because I really don't have anywhere to put the cards right now. So didn't want to take all that out yet. But I'll crack it open eventually and I'll at least show the hits that I get in there. So those of you that know Wesker Griff's channel, you know he likes a lot of those TV show cards, and he knows that I do as well, so he said he was going to send me some of his extra Game of Thrones stuff. I thought he was going to send me like two or three cards, but sent me a nice little stack, including like five autographs, which is really nice, because again, for those that don't know, these are not always like super cheap. Even though these guys aren't like big-time actors or anything, I think a lot of the fans of the show like to put the autograph sets together, so even on the low end, you're paying like eight to ten bucks for a lot of these so again very nice of ed to just send me these for free really like the look of these with the gold signatures never bought any of those this kid looks way different than he did when he first appeared on the show that first time he appeared on the show was arguably one of the weirdest scenes in television history i got a few other ones here i got a nice john snow foil card and a few of these inserts, which I think are only like a handful per box, if that. They have different scenes on the front and back. I don't think those scenes really contain any spoilers. But really, if you were going to watch the show, you probably watched it already by now. Even got a few sports cards here. So nice mix of stuff overall from Ed. Got some Yankees. Miguel Andujar rookie. Nicky Thon, Puerto Rican player. Not sure if that one just slipped in there. Steve Jeltz. Got some Eli's. This one's really cool. I had never seen that one before. 
I think we all reach a point with our PC teams where you feel like you've already seen like all the cars there are of them, but always nice to find stuff like this that you haven't seen. Really nice looking card. Also really like this Alonzo Trier from Obsidian. Or it's actually a preview card, so I'm not sure what packs those came in. But yeah, another good signing by the Knicks. He went undrafted, but I said before he had like first round talent. Not sure why he went undrafted. You can say what you want about the Knicks front office, but they do some pretty good scouting. They just let the guys go after like two years. Even got some John Moxley action in there. And last one got a nice looking autograph of Chance Adams. Or fat chance as Ricky used to call him. But yeah, I think he got traded to the Royals. Or I don't know if they released him and then signed with the Royals. I'm not sure if he's still there. But yeah, I have a feeling he's going to be one of those guys that bounces around to like four or five different teams. Hopefully he can catch on somewhere and have a few decent seasons. He has a ton of autographs out there. But oddly enough, that's just my second one in the Yankee collection. I think I pulled one from a Snodzilla break like a year ago. And now that one. But yeah, I really like the look of that. So thanks to Ed for that nice stack there. Thanks again to Dustin and Blake and Jeff Airtime and Watch the Corners. I'll be leaving links to all of those guys. And I'll talk to you guys next time.